The Executive Council has approved the 2022-2024 to medium-term expenditure framework and the fiscal strategy paper as required by the Fiscal Responsibility Act. This formed part of decisions reached at this week's council meeting in Abuja. Tayamodu was there. The MTEF FSP describes the federal government's socio-economic and developmental objectives and priorities for the reporting period of 2022 to 2024. Key takeaways in the document include the fact that the Nigerian economy has recovered from a negative growth of minus 1.8% in 2020 to 2.5% in 2021 and then to 4.2% in 2022. Also included are reports on the inflation rate, foreign reserves, the crude oil benchmark and dollar exchange rate. 2019 to 2020 uh, pandemic period, that the effect of that is going to ramp up growth sharply. So we've seen that ramp up in the global economic growth in sub-Saharan Africa, in emerging economies, and also is the same thing with the Nigerian economy. But that weighs, weighs out in 2023 when the growth moderates from 4.2 to 2.3%. 6.54 trillion naira is projected as revenue to accrue to the federation account for 2022 with an additional 2.62 trillion naira from VAT. The total expenditure projected and approved by council is 13.98 trillion naira, which implies a deficit that will be financed by new foreign borrowing and domestic borrowing. The deficit is going to be financed by new foreign borrowing and domestic uh, borrowing both domestic and foreign in the sum of 4.89 trillion and privatization process of 90.73 billion and drawdowns from existing project tied loans of 635 uh, billion. Also this week, Council approved 13 ecological fund projects spread across the country and the FCT for the third and fourth quarters of last year. The soil erosion, flood control, and pollution control intervention projects and the total sum approved is 16.041 billion naira inclusive of 7.5 VAT. The total sum of these contracts is 16 billion 041 Those are the <laughs> erosion control and ecological projects for third and fourth quarter of last year approved. Finally this week council approved the purchase of Kanti Towers which is located at 35 Adit Tokumba Ademola Street, Victoria Island, Lagos for the new headquarters of the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency in Emasa at a sum of 17.4 billion naira inclusive of 7.5 percent tax. Tai Amudu, TVC News, Abuja.